Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Zayden, and you're at Reap What You Sow Gardening today. And in this today's video, I'm going to be showing you and telling you how to grow sweet potatoes at home. Let's do this. So, as the camera's pointing in this direction, you're probably saying to yourself, Hey, Zayden, what am I looking at? But what you're looking at is some companion plants, like broccoli, tomatoes, some cabbages, beans, little carrots plants, some squashes, and of course, the humble sweet potato that's growing right in the middle. So you're probably asking what this video is about. It's about how I grew these and how you can grow them too. So this is what I did. Let me get... My decking oil, which is a screw, and a piece of sweet potato so I can show you. Yeah, this is a piece of sweet potato. See how it's a little scabbed over. It's fine. This is a piece of sweet potato. Usually they'll have like purple little things that are growing out little plants. I've heard that people put these in jars full of water and or a vase or a vase and they just sprout. But I don't really do it that way. I do it the way God intended. Because there was no water in vases or vase, whatever you call it, a long time ago. These and the wilds were in the ground, popped up. So here's the thing. I put this in a pot about, let me grab the pot, about this size, full of soil. Don't, complete, don't completely cover the sweet potatoes with soil when you put these in to make slips or draws. You want to partially cover them with soil, still give a good layer of soil on them. But once you start to see roots come out of it on the top layer and purple sprouts, then you can plant them. So usually some people plant the sweet potato slips at about like this size, or right here, or about this size. But I said no. I really planted the sweet potato slips about the size a little bit bigger than a quarter. The size of a... American Quarter, and I just put them in the soil, and these things are growing head star. And the reason why you might be asking, well, Zayden, hey, I don't grow sweet potatoes, but I grow regular potatoes. So can I just put the whole sweet potato in the soil, you may be asking? The answer is no. You see, sweet potatoes and potatoes are not the same. They're not in the same family. Sweet potatoes are in the morning glory family. And regular potatoes, like your russets, your Yukon Gold, your oranges, or your reds and blues, those are in the nightshade, eggplant, capsicum, tomato family. That's what regular potatoes in. So if you plant the regular potato, which is the nightshade, it will sprout and make potatoes. If you plant the whole sweet potato, it will grow, but it will only grow leaves, foliage, and flowers. That's not what you want. But that may be what you want if you are a home grower that likes ornamental plants. And speaking of ornamental plant topic, they already sell ornamental sweet potatoes at like big box stores like nurseries and Lowe's and Home Depot and all that stuff. So if you want to get your hands on some ornamental plants, just go to the big box stores. But if you want to grow food like me, then all you got to do is plant them at home. So here where I live, I got to give it to you. Um, just so you know, the soil I have, I live in North Carolina, Zone 7B, Central, and here we have this, if I can dig some up, we have this soil, kind of looks like, I don't know, it's like the color of, you know, chocolate, and this is kind of loamy, it's not really loamy, but they say sweet potatoes like loam. Here's a YouTuber I'm going to reference. His name is Self Sufficient Me in Australia, Queensland, I think. They have, I think, please correct me if I'm wrong, in Australia, I think they have really wet clay. Um, I mean, the citrus trees love it here and there. So, there, they say don't plant them directly in the ground or else they won't grow. But here, we're planting them in ground. These sweet potatoes are doing so fantastic. Man. So let me show you where we planted them. But first, let me talk about what you can plant them in. So in ground, which is one 
The second thing is in containers, which is two. Third thing is, or if you do, don't do aquaponics, because they won't grow aquaponics. I guess that's just two things you can do. No, three. Put them in a greenhouse. Put them in the greenhouse. They grow fantastic. Starting swips in here, or just growing them in the greenhouse. But if you don't have enough space in your greenhouse, or if you don't have a greenhouse, just do it in pots or on ground. Let's show you where else I planted some sweet potatoes. Okay, guys and girls. What you're looking at right now is this. This is a baby sweet potato plant. It's called a swip or a draw. What is that? It's when you plant the cut the sweet potato, like I explained earlier, makes a swip or a draw, which is the regrow. All right. So where did I get this from? I got it from a sweet potato swip. You might be saying, well, Zane, how can you do that? Well, it's simple. When a sweet potato swip grows and turns into a plant, I took a cutting from that swip and I grew it. You got sweet potatoes in this row of, you know, natural. This row, what it's called, is just usually a melon patch for me. I got cantaloupes mainly here and a couple corn plants and a couple tomatoes. So there's also some russet potatoes plants. No, excuse me, white potatoes planted. So. It's really, really easy to tell the difference. Also, if you grow white potatoes, it's really easy. The thing is, if you grow red potatoes or oranges colored, and you plant sweet potatoes, kind of get confused because they kind of have the same color, all right? Unless the red potatoes are small and they're more round. So, it's not really a issue with me, but here's an issue. If you want to eat the sweet potatoes, you can eat them the day you plant them. People say that you, you can't eat them the day you plant them. You can't really, but you can. The thing is, you don't really want to eat them the day you plant. You dig them up. and Sorry, I, sorry, I said the day you plant them. The day you dig them up and harvest them, you can eat them, but you don't really want to. I mean, they're not, they're not toxic or anything. They'll just have a little milky white substance inside, which will probably be most likely sugars. Those are the starches turn to sugar when you leave them in the pantry for a couple weeks then you can eat them sweet bake them or if you want to make salads or something maybe harvest the leaves because fun fact the leaves are actually edible so yeah sorry i said that the sweet potatoes the day you plant them you can eat them no the day you harvest them so keep that in mind so as always i hope you enjoyed this video if you did Please consider subscribing and hitting that sweet potato like button, hitting that thing in the face, and please consider hitting the notifications bell so you never miss not even the sweetest videos. Thanks for watching and keep on sewing. God bless and have a great day.